Hi, I'm Tim Telecky, founder of InOut Labs. We're a national provider of employee drug testing services. So when can employees be tested for alcohol? And I'm talking about random testing, not for suspicion. For suspicion, you want to test them right away uh, or post-accident. But we're talking about random testing for breath alcohol. Well, alcohol is legal. So it's important that alcohol testing be conducted only when alcohol impairment may impact safety. In the United States, a result of 0.08 on a breathalyzer is generally treated as driving under the influence for the general population. It's much more stringent for CDL drivers. 0.04 is a violation and 0.02 to 0.39 means they must be removed from safety sensitive work for 24 hours. Uh, we get most of our random uh, breath alcohol test positives in the morning. So often it's a um, somebody who had a late night, went to work and time to drive the truck and they shouldn't be driving the truck. So when can you do a random breath alcohol test? Well, according to the regulations, a driver shall only be tested for alcohol while the driver is performing safety sensitive functions, just before the driver is to perform safety sensitive functions, or just after ceasing performing safety sensitive function. So what is a safety sensitive function? Safety sensitive function means all time from the time a driver begins to work or is required to be in readiness for work until the time he or she is relieved from work and all responsibility for performing work. So, you know, that can mean a lot of different things. It's not just driving time. Um, so safety sensitive functions as defined in the regulations, it means all, t all time at a carrier or shipper plant terminal facility or other property uh, or any public property waiting to be dispatched unless the driver has been relieved from duty by the employer uh, it includes employees who are eligible to work to drive a, a commercial motor vehicle at any time. So it could be salespeople, clerks, secretaries, supervisors, people who, who may hold a CDL and may be available to drive an emergency. You can, you can uh, breath test them. They're, you know, available to work. Um, all time inspecting or servicing uh, commercial motor vehicles, all driving time. Uh, so basically behind the wheel of a truck or a bus or, um, you know, a, a qualifying vehicle. Uh, all time other than driving time if they're on the vehicle except if they're in the sleeping berth, you know, sleeping. Um, all time loading and unloading a vehicle, supervising or assisting in loading or unloading, attending a vehicle being loaded or unloaded, remaining ready to operate the vehicle or giving or receiving receipts for shipments loaded or unloaded. This is all considered being on duty and performing safety sensitive work. All time repairing, obtaining assistance for remaining with a disabled vehicle. All this time, you know, a driver can be uh, asked to provide a breath alcohol test sample uh, uh, for a random test. So basically, if a driver is at work and eligible to drive a commercial motor vehicle, that in itself is a safety sensitive function. So for owner operators, this becomes tricky because technically they're available to drive all the time. So requiring a driver to take a random breath alcohol test is limited to the time when they may be conducting safety sensitive work uh, but it's a pretty broad definition of what that might be. I'm Tim Telecky from InOut Labs. Please visit us at inoutlabs.com.